So this story has been on TikTok for a while. A man kills a policeman's daughter. Because that same policeman ended up killing his son. So apparently the police officer at a traffic stop got to arguing with this man's son. Once the man pulled out his wallet, the police officer got afraid. And he shot him six times. So the bereaved father waits approximately four years and decides that he's going to go ahead and have an eye for an eye. So he waits for the prom, waits for the police officer's daughter to come out and screams out, eye for an eye, and just starts shooting. Whoever made this story should have made a book but it's, I don't think that it's based in reality. Because in reality, that man would have made it out. He would have made it to the jail. That man could have held out a yellow library card and got shot up for the metal. I don't think it's true. But it is something worth thinking about. How far would you go for revenge? How much are you willing to give to make sure that you're even? Now, I guess the author of this story must have went ahead and thought about all the lines. Race, legal, and moral. These are things that get people at the table discussing right, wrong, what side are you on. If it's not about right and wrong, it's about black and white. If it's not black and white, it's about the moral implications behind it. How could one justify bringing an unspoken party into an act of revenge? What type of morals do you have to bring someone else's daughter into someone else's wrongdoing? Also, while we're thinking about that, if you have a predisposition to fear, why are you a cop? Why would you put on that badge day in and day out knowing that you're afraid of losing your life? Or are you using fear as an excuse? And if that's the case, you signed yourself up for any type of thing that happens afterwards. Because we throw things into the void, right? The void collects karma. And we can't choose what type of form karma takes when it comes back out. So karma just may take its, uh, you know, rage and angst out on you personally. Or it may wait a little while and take its rage and angst out on those that are closest to you. Because you may not care about yourself too much, but you most certainly care about somebody. And if you cannot learn your lessons by personally being affected, you'll most certainly learn what it's like when you affect someone else. Especially the people that you care about. And sometimes that's what it takes. It's teaching humanity. It's teaching ethics. It's also teaching empathy. If I can't teach you by affecting you, then eventually them by affecting another person you can't choose the way that revenge is going to take itself 